Hey guys, it's Vinamriya from the Fountain Pen Guide back with another video. Today, this video, we are going to talk about the history and the evolution of Fountain Pen. It's basically a Fountain Pen comprehensive educational video. Uh, with me, I have Mr. Yusuf Mansoor Saro here, who is an, again like a Fountain Pen geek and a Fountain Pen nerd, just like me. And he has a numerous and an extraordinary amount of Fountain Pen knowledge, which he's going to share with us. We have the Fountain Pen collection over here, like, uh, like, different kinds of fountain pens and the old kind of vintage fountain pen which he's going to share and he's going to share his knowledge with us about the history and fountain pen information with us. Hi everyone, I am Yusuf Mansoor, a retired, retired petroleum geologist and a fountain pen geek or nerd you can say. So my only entertainment is basically fountain pen. And my only responsibility is to promote content. This is the way I explain myself. So here is a small tour guide for you guys that might interest you. The evolution of fountain pen, how we all started uh, having a, a writing instrument of substance which we can carry forward on day to day basis. Earlier one was generally use and throw kind of stuff and then we evolved gradually to things which we can carry. So here are some examples of uh, the most primitive way of writing which also have records of uh, records of the writing instrument forms. These uh, stuff represent, uh, see the paper you see inside is the actual paper. They used to have them for writing uh, Farmans and official records and these are the pens if you see these are the wooden pens uh, they are made to cut to made to write uh, calligraphy and uh, these are the parts basically represents these are the the ink parts and uh, ink wells basically they refer and these are the nibs which basically require so here you have the complete combo you can combo you can say like these pens, you have a stick, you have a nib, you put it in and then, and then you dip in your ink pot and then you write on your paper. That completes the process. So these are the different things, different form which represents the most primitive way of water pen. So you can consider these as the vintage stuff. And then from there on, we have progress to a normal carrying fountain pens. Uh, here are the... Uh, some form basically is is representing two forms a certain period the initial 19th century late late 19th century to early 20th century that is pre 1910 these are the pens they are into two filling system basically uh, the one is the say, directly tank filling system and the other one is another tank filling system but with different filling mode uh, generally these days we refer it as safety pens. And then the next uh, stage where we improve upon our primitive filling system to a more robust filling system. And then here we have a uh, sack filling system basically when all almost all the pens used to have sacks with different uh, operating mechanisms. And here for example we have a lever filling system, a blow, blow pinhole system and similarly we have crescent filling system. So, and next to this, uh, we have moved and improved. Um, basically, uh, the still filling form is the sack filling form, but with different mechanism. Uh, evolved after those liver filling system and crescent filling system, that is basically side filling system to back filling system. And these are called button filling systems. So here you can see there is a small protruding thing, which is basically a a piston which you, you rub, uh, you press and that compresses the sack within and which works on back system basically. And then uh, here you can see the small tube protruding from this one. These are uh, the, the bulb filling system, you call a balloon filling system uh, where you have to just press the rubber tube and it's, it purges the air inside and receives the fluid that is ink. And then on the next stage, from there on, we further improved and got different varieties of mechanism 
ink filling mechanism which includes vacuumatic without sac the other sac system is also vacuumatic system but this one is the back system which doesn't require sac right so here you have a plunger uh, which does the same thing which creates vacuum and take fluids in return and uh, you can see this one is called the plunger vac system where you have a thin tube which comes out and moves in the other one is the diaphragm based plunger system we there's a small plunger which has a diaphragm when you pump it it purges the air and takes the fluid in right and uh, uh, move on to the next level uh, this one is not basically representing any representing any filling system uh, rather this represent us this is our heritage this is the way we used to make fountain pens and uh, these pens uh, represent india's most premium fountain pen maker ever guide pens this is ruby dhar ruby and then these two are and the top one is uh, guptu's perfection perhaps the oldest recognized fountain pen maker in india and then we are moving back to our filling system this one is uh, engineering marvel created by parker in form of parker 51 which has the filling system of aromatic which again has a tube a sac which was compressed by a press tube a bar you just press very easy to clean very easy to maintain and the best part was it was having a hooded all cover cage around the nib which never allows ink to dry so it was a engineering marvel and perhaps the testimony itself is the number of instruments sold and which you relate to the popularity nothing or no brand or no variant can match parker 51 and then again as the same series of uh, filling system here we have another set of filling system which was created in the late 60s to early 70s uh, here I, i can show you this is three or four types uh they are basically sac filling system again but the mechanism they use were uh pneumatic system air based okay so the pen on top see if you see there is a spear coming out this was called a uh, snorkel basically the idea was to avoid dipping the pen inside the ink bottle so this spear goes in and then you operate your plunger system from here which works on pneumatic and then it takes the fluid in the sac without this we had the other similar model but without any spear or coming out we called it touch down operates on the same pneumatic process and then parker has developed a, a not very so successful but you can say it's a, it's a collectors delight now uh, and that is the capillary section filling system what you do it has a cartridge with the uh, uh, something which sucks and store fluids and uh, you just dip in your uh, your your refill and uh, and it sucks the fluid and store in the sack and the other one you see is a very simple mechanism as a plunger kind this one and it's basically like work as a syringe filler and you have a syringe like stuff you take pull it out and then you create vacuum and then take the fluid and uh, these are again uh, uh, represents basically how good we were in past this is our heritage these are all indian fountain pens they have used different materials for fountain pen manufacture which includes and these two pens are made half in uh, ebonite and half in plastic these two are hardened rubber that is ebonite and these all represents uh, the hardened rubber uh, ebonite that is hardened rubber and this is bakelite these two are bakelite it's a hardly form of plastics and these again are bakelites in uh, marble form 
and again the different sex of content uh, representing representing indian uh, content pen industries in the past na uh, with different mechanisms different material different filling system right and at the end uh, there is a an idea that every nib and every feed is the same but in, in reality you have so many kinds of feeds and so many kinds of nibs you know say here i have taken 100 piece uh, each of uh, uh, nibs and feed which defines the pen basically like me if i pick up a feed i can i can i can tell you which kind of nib or which kind of filling system you might be having okay and there are some crude uh, just uh, to have giving you a rough idea of how things looks like inside the fountain pen different filling system so i don't know how good it is to explain or see through these are uh, uh, button sack filling system where a small button you pump this was uh, patented by shaffer fountain pen very popular company uh, this one you see and the other one this one these are basically uh, parker vacuumatic uh, patented diaphragm uh, holders the hot diaphragm was fixed here and there's a plunger and you pump and create vacuum and, and uh, this is the sack we are using here in all the sack form of different kinds basically similarly you have uh, holders for uh, hooded nibs like this one this is a holder for hooded nib okay you have got a feed and a nib like something like this rounded one small you can see right? it takes this hooded nib in and you have a hooded system too to in case it is a small briefing basically uh, to make people understand the nuances of fountain pen and uh, that briefing you 